This is Matt Gonzalez with MacGrimmers with an overview of the new features in iOS 8.3. This release has quite a few new improvements and additions. Some of the smaller changes include a separation for Apple Pay and other passes in Passbook so you can keep your cards separate from everything else. In the Photos app, there is now new icons for albums to help show which kinds of pictures are included like with panoramas and there's a new folder for screenshots. The keyboard has also been tweaked a bit. Now in Safari, when attempting to make a search, the space bar is longer which shrinks the go button and moves the period. This makes entering a search easier as you're much less likely to accidentally hit a period instead of a space, a much welcome improvement. There are also a multitude of new languages for Siri, and Siri can now place phone calls on speakerphone. Call test on speakerphone. Calling test on speaker. Apple also added support for Union Pay in China, which shows that Apple Pay may be coming there soon. In the Messages app, there's now a way to separate your conversations into contacts and unknown senders so you can sort them easier, and when adding a new Google account, there's now support for two-factor authentication so you no longer have to get app-specific passwords, and this streamlines the sign-in process quite a bit. Emojis have also been updated. Now there's a new picker which makes it easier to see all the emojis and has an endless scroll, and now there's new diversified emojis that help include everyone. There's different family and couple types and new individuals that have skin tone modifiers as well, so you can choose which one works best for you. Along with those, there's also new flags for different countries, and there is an Apple Watch, iPhone 6, and iMac emoji. CarPlay is a feature that was released with iOS 8, but up until now you had to plug in your phone in order to get the interface tip here in your car. But now with iOS 8.3, you have the ability to wirelessly CarPlay if your car supports it. Lastly is that now in the App Store, if you want to download an app that's free, you don't have to enter your password. But this can also be toggled on and off, so if you want to streamline your experience, you can, but say if you have kids, you can leave it on so you know when they're downloading. So those are the new features and tweaks in iOS 8.3. This dot upgrade has quite a few improvements and some welcome features. For more on iOS 8.3, be sure to visit MacRumors.com. If you enjoyed this video, hit subscribe so you can see when we upload new content. Again, I'm Matt with MacRumors, and we will see you in the next one.